you've ever been a fan of the wild, wild west, chances are you've heard of Johnny Crawford. The child actor became quite famous when he starred in the hit TV series, The Rifleman. Following his time in a cowboy hat, Johnny went on to have a prolific career in television and film, starring in over 62 movies. Sadly, he recently passed away at age 75. Be sure to watch this whole video to find out why his long career was cut short. Early Career Johnny Crawford was born in March of 1946 in Los Angeles. He was born in the right place at the right time to become a star. When he was just nine years old, his parents forced him to audition to be a Mouseketeer on Mickey Mouse's clubhouse. After auditioning, producers seemed to like his looks and thought he might be a good fit for the pilot of the new series. Johnny landed the role and began working with ABC to film the show. Johnny and his parents remember telling his agent he doesn't need to get paid for the role. And ironically, ABC never planned to pay him anyway. Rather than accepting money, Johnny starred on an up-and-coming TV show where he'd get a lot of exposure. Johnny and his parents accepted the deal in the hopes that Johnny would make a name for himself. Their plan worked, and it turned out that acting for the Clubhouse show would launch Johnny into a long career of success and fame. Crawford quickly grew more confident in his craft when he started to receive offers for small film roles. His big break was when he was cast for a new show about to air. He became famous for his role on The Rifleman as Chuck Connors' son from 1958 to 1963. Johnny played Mark McCain, the young son of war veteran Lucas McCain, played by Chuck Connors. Connors was one of the first actors ever to play the role of a single father. The show was a major hit and loved by fans all around. It depicted a sweet relationship between the father and son and helped teach viewers and their children many life lessons. When Crawford was just 13 years old, he was nominated as Best Supporting Actor in a Drama Series at the 1959 Emmys. He appeared in 168 episodes of the classic TV show. The Rifleman led Johnny to fame, and many people still think of him today when they reminisce on old classics. Though it was one of his more memorable roles, Johnny was known for far more than just this role in The Rifleman. He also appeared in The Lone Ranger, The Cavalcade of America, and The Count of Monte Cristo. Following his time on The Rifleman, he continued in TV, making appearances on Rawhide and Hawaii Five-0. Johnny would go on to appear in dozens of films and TV shows over the next several decades. He became a household name over his years in the industry. He was capable of playing any role, but most people loved him for his Midwestern style. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. Branching out. During his time on the set of The Rifleman, Johnny played the guitar and sang throughout several episodes. He had always had a love for music and frequently worked on his skills as a musician. Realizing he could pursue this passion as well, Johnny set out to do just that. After starting a successful career in TV, the child star began to write and perform his own songs. Record labels all over reached out to Johnny for a chance to sign him. Before long, he signed with Delphi Records and had many songs make the top 100 billboard charts. He had eight songs make it to the top 10, with his recording of Cindy's Birthday being his most popular song. Though Johnny enjoyed making music, his main goal was still to be an actor. His brother, Bobby Crawford, was also a kid TV star when he appeared on the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse show. Bobby would later go on to become a producer for the Warner Brothers Company. It's rumored that the brother dynamic helped Johnny land several film roles with the production company. Nonetheless, this has never been confirmed, and Johnny's talent surely speaks for itself. After his time on The Rifleman, Johnny used his real-life cowboy skills to join the American rodeo circuit. He was a master at trick roping animals in his shows. He mastered this skill in his youth and decided to continue touring with the group. While doing shows, he had the experience of a lifetime and made some money. Following his time with the rodeo, Johnny joined the U.S. military and served for several years. While he served his time in the Army, he continued making appearances on TV and film. After the Army, Crawford realized that acting was still his true passion. When he tried to change careers, he was unable to do anything that would suit him better. In 1991, he came back to life in his role as Mark McCain in the film entitled The Gambler Returns, The Luck of the Draw. Crawford starred in the movie with his TV father, Chuck Connors. The actors kept a close relationship throughout their lives. 
Sadly, Connors passed away in 1992, just one year after their film was released. Looking back on their time together, Johnny was happy to have had one last hurrah with his on-screen father. 20 years later, after about 1999, Johnny stepped off screen. When the star stopped making films, many of his fans and supporters were worried that he was done for good. Though the star did spend a considerable amount of time away from acting, he decided to give his fans what they were asking for. In 2019, he landed his first acting role in over 20 years. The teen cowboy idol decided to slip his boots back on for a new acting gig and promised his fans it would be a good one. He starred in the movie called The Marshal, originally titled Bill Tillman and the Outlaws. The movie is set in an Oklahoma small town. A movie company arrives in town to ask Bill Tillman to star in a silent shootout film that also features real outlaws. Bill accepts the offer. Introducing Klondike Shakes. Delicious shakes in a pouch. And things only get worse from there on out. In the movie, Johnny Crawford makes a tribute to his character on The Rifleman and gives fans one more Midwestern film on screen. His diagnosis. Sadly, all rodeos come to an end at some point. In 2019, Crawford faced the biggest challenge of his life so far, Alzheimer's disease. The actor and his family were devastated to find out he was suffering from the untreatable ailment. When the diagnosis struck, Johnny had no other option but to be placed in 24-7 care. Fortunately, his wife Charlotte worked at the same facility. With his wife by his side, the family had faith in their love and support for one another. Child star advocate Paul Peterson said Crawford struggled to speak but always had a smile on his face. Peterson posted a GoFundMe page for Johnny due to the steep price of full-time assistance. Seeing the page made many fans question why such a star would need help financially. Surprisingly, his net worth at the time of his death was much less than you might think. He was worth only about $500,000. Though that might seem like a high number, his money was fading quickly each month after paying for all his medical expenses. Many people suffering from the disease typically pass away from a separate comorbidity, such as heart disease or cancer. But otherwise, in good health, Johnny's family was worried they would have to watch him slowly waste away. Johnny passed away peacefully on April 29, 2021, with his wife Charlotte by his side. The actor passed when he contracted COVID-19 that spiraled into a case of pneumonia. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about Johnny Crawford? Was he another overrated child star? Or did he provide rich content to the film industry at the time? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.